It's a beautiful fall morning. The clouds are obscuring the mountains. All that warm board down there, we're hoping to get up here today. Last evening we stopped with this half double left and we stopped down here near the stairs. So this morning we've got the plans out, kind of looking over our layout and we're basically starting right here with this half double left. We've got a straight, double straight. We want to get on there and then a left, right, left. And then we'll kind of see where we're at. We need to cut this small straight panel, but we already have the half double right because that's the other half of this double panel right here. There's no panels in our stairway here. So once we get down here, I think we're gonna have to cut this double panel in half and that will go right up to our stairway. So hopefully Alyssa will come out and help me. I think she's been working hard on getting a video out for you guys. And we'll see how much of our warm board we can get installed today. If this is the first video that you're watching uh, of our easy radiant install. We did talk yesterday, we'll link to that video, about why we chose warm board, some of the things that we liked about warm board as a solution for our home. And we also opened their welcome kit, which is fan freaking tastic. In fact, I've already been on the phone with them this morning. We are very thankful for their help and support. As owner builders, it's just so critical to have a company that backs up their product. Because we have just silly questions and it can be the difference between having absolute headaches and getting the product installed in an efficient manner and uh, having a good experience with the product. So I'm really thankful that Warmboard is there to help us and guide us through this process. This stuff really is straightforward. We're just inexperienced people, basically. And a lot of the questions that we have are kind of novice. They're not like problems with the product. It's like, what do we do now? We don't know. And we, we do the same thing to our poor engineer. Sorry, Ethan. Sorry for the daily phone calls. I, I hope you knew that when you signed up to help us with this project. In the interest of all things warm, we fired up the hot tub again this morning. Looks like it's burning kind of dirty. Hopefully that'll light off. There's a lot of semi-wet wood in there because we had some rain overnight and so some of that stuff's kind of wet but hopefully it'll light off and get burning nice and clean soon and maybe this evening Alyssa and I can take a moment and soak. I do have to say it's kind of magical walking around on our subfloor up here on this platform. <laughs> we used to have to fly the drone to get this perspective and now I don't even know how high up we are. We've got to be pushing probably 14, 15 feet. Pretty wild. Need anything else down here or can I come up? Uh, I think you're good. Come on up. Thanks for starting the hot tub. Any more luck with the tongue and groove? I think I'm finding a couple of tricks. Okay. I'm not sure why we screw the living snot out of it to start. Seems like premature. I slowly came to the conclusion that I didn't need to have all these edge boards screwed down so tight. Mm -hmm. so, so it makes it harder to get the tongue in there. You just can't because it's so tight to the eye joist. But did Laurel say anything about knocking out this? No, waiting for that phone call. Okay. Like, look at this. This is already all like munched. Mm -hmm. So we do need to knock that out. Like I'm not even okay. going to ask. It just needs to go away. That helps. Do you need big mama over here? Yeah. <laughs> I heard someone needs help with underlayment. <laughs> Hold on. I need to eat real quick. <sighs> it's going pretty good. An eighth of an inch.
pretty nice to be in our future living room right now. You are. You're 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 backing up to the wall, the office wall, <laughs> where there's going to be a what is it called transom window. Yep. Straight panel coming through. Good. Okay. We'll do. We are cruising right along this morning. So let's take a look at where we're at with the plans. So we've done left, right, left, and we stopped at this little straight because I didn't want to cut a straight panel that I had. I wanted to be able to get these panels in here so that I could put these panels in and then we're going to bring more panels up. If I would have cut the straight panel, it would have just jeopardized that whole strategy. So Alyssa's screwing this guy down right now and then I made, I made room and so now we need to go left, right, left. What does it feel like to be walking on the platform that we built? Well, it's pretty amazing. Isn't that something? It's surreal. I was mentioning that earlier, like how my feet just, I don't know, here we are walking on it. Yeah, it's pretty crazy to just envision the rooms where they're gonna go. Well, yeah, and the radiant really helps to map things out. So here's where the living room loops will turn and come back into the living room and there'll be a wall Anchor where wall Alyssa's standing. Be, yeah, right here. Yep. And then over there will be the office, right? Yep. So in here. And then I think we have to make custom routes, which we'll talk about those later. It'll be a little while. Somewhere in here, because there's a closet right here, right? And yep. then I think this will be the mud room over here and then the stairs are going to go up into the timber frame yep fun it is fun and it's a happy color of green yeah it's it could like have made it mustard robin, yellow it's almost robin egg blue that was robin my favorite egg. crayon color This product is actually based off of inch and an eighth plywood. And in the realm of underlayments, inch and an eighth is probably one of the more premium underlayments you can start with. A lot of people use OSB or Orient Strand Board. Most modern track homes are built that way. They're very spongy. They do not tolerate being wet well. Um, so this warm board is basically an upgraded or value added plywood product and when they make plywood what they do is they glue veneer in opposite orientations so one veneer usually the face which is the outside veneers is running lengthwise and then the alternating veneers are running perpendicular so this is one two three four five six seven seven ply inch and an eighth underlayment I happen to know that they make the same product in like an 11 ply. Yeah, That's which they minor. use extremely thin veneer and make it that way. And that stuff is insane. But this is very similar to what they make boats out of. There's a product out there that's called boat ply and it's seven ply inch and an eighth. And anyway, this is fantastically rigid. So. I'm really happy that we're using a combination underlayment and radiant in one. If we didn't, we'd probably be more inclined. I don't even know why we would do this, but we would probably use an OSB subfloor and then use some sort of radiant underlayment to, to do the same thing. So Warmboard makes another product. I think it's called R, Warmboard R, and they're two feet by four feet or four by four, something like that. But they're made for retrofit uh, radiant. So if you already have a subfloor, you can put warm board R down and basically end up with the same net effect as this. But we're skipping that step. We're basically doing our underlayment and subfloor all in one. And I think if you were gonna do that two piece system, we would probably be more inclined to go with a, a more cost effective underlayment, which would probably end up in a more bouncy floor. 
You know, none of, like, I think a lot of people think that when a floor moves, it's gonna break! It's gonna break, we're all gonna die! <laughs> but when you engineer this stuff, there's a, there's a formula, and it's called L over either 360, 480, or 240, and those are what are called deflection. So when you bend a floor, how much does it bend? They measure the length divided by 480, and that will give you the deflection under a certain load. And, and if you have a floor that doesn't bend at all, it's actually not comfortable. It's actually not comfortable, like walking on concrete. Concrete doesn't bend, it's hard on your knees. So you actually want some give, but you don't want to be like... <laughs> Trampoline. <laughs> so when you engineer, that's what you're engineering <laughs> for is what's called deflection. Anyway, so the combination of the eye joist, inch and an eighth underlayment, radiant all in one will give us a very sturdy, stable, comfortable, floor and we're doing it all in one step as a comparison this sheet of plywood is three eighths and it's three ply it's still amazingly strong you are walking around on this on mm -hmm. these joists right yeah and how much did it give a little bit yeah a little bit. I mean, it doesn't feel sturdy as You wouldn't stuff. want that for your subfloor. No, probably not. <laughs> but it's strong enough that you can walk around on it, right? And I actually did the math last night. We had 10 panels of warm board stacked right here. I believe that's somewhere around 1,200 pounds <laughs> because a unit is 2,300, so it's gotta be in that 1,150 range. But you know what's funny is that only ends up being 30 pounds per square foot sitting on this floor, 30 pounds. If you think about it, my feet, that's one square foot, right? Mm -hmm. So I am creating 230 pounds per square foot right now. And that 1,200 pounds of flooring is only 30 pounds per square foot. So that's yeah. a quarter of what I create when my lardy butt walks around like this. So I was thinking, gosh, that's a lot of weight. And I was kind of worried about it. And then I sat down and did the math and I'm like, turns out I'm heavier exactly. than that. <laughs> pardon me, coffees, pardon me, pardon me. Uh, I see why you're doing that. You're just being difficult. All right, it's time for a righty. Ready to go in, okay. This says that that panel needs to come down this way a smidge. This panel's not what's not lined up. These two panels look like they're spot on, but I'm gonna go get a piece of tubing and just prove that this is, we're not putting steel in here, we're putting tubing. pretty forgiving. This is another one of those conversations about precision. Yep. So if we're off by a 16th, does it jeopardize the radiant? You know, and uh, yep. I think the tubing is way more forgiving the than steel. the yep. steel. But the steel, obviously, if you can get it set, you're pretty good. So. I'd say we're a quarter of the way done. What do you think? Uh, we're not, definitely not a third yet, but. Yeah, it was three. I think there's eight, eight panels wide, was it? I'm no, it's sure. nine nine panels wide, okay. so we're not quite a third of the way done. So but we're getting close there. to a quarter. Yeah. Still early. Yeah. Wonder if it's okay to microwave the adhesive to make it flow better. <laughs> and just go till she falls off. Good. Good job. Rocking. Man, it's just really dark today. That's a little more light. Wonder it depends why. where you aim oh, it. Oh, you know what it is, yeah. So this paper is like really light. Yep. But then when I aim at the old Lissa, it brightens up. Uh... Ready, go. Ah! Didn't we move those last night? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of somewhere. Three doubles, three straights, and two lefts. Yep. I think having the panels like this 
where you've got them sorted out and you can kind of go through and pick. So we haven't really mentioned this, but Warmboard actually labels their panels by color. And so yellow on our plans up there and blue and red, yeah, coordinate with the plans. So very impressed with their like attention to detail. Yeah, but having like having it all kind of laid out here so you can kind of go shopping for panels helps us because we're so high up there. Are you okay whooping those like that? Yeah, it looks good. This right here is the piece we're cutting right now, that little straight piece, which is gonna go right there. It's time to take the cameras down. It's about to rain and we need to make a town run. Our drill situation might be bad enough to justify buying a brand new impact driver locally, which always means we're gonna pay more money, but it might be worth it because there's a lot of screwing to do right now. And while I'm down here, I want you guys to admire our beautiful ceiling. Doesn't that look amazing? Here's what Jesse was talking about. All this black caution stuff is where our radiant will go. So there's zero chance of us drilling through it, but look at that. We don't even need to tarp stuff down here because we have protection. Okay, Jesse, you win the bet. I didn't think it was gonna be a downpour. Yeah, I hope, well, I don't think any water's gonna come through the warm board. No, so. maybe small amounts, but I put the cameras like under the table. Ooh, Aww. here it comes. Look. This is us enjoying our first rainstorm in our covered <laughs> garage. There's I can a, get used to this. Well, that's not roofing, but it's a it's, dry it's spot nonetheless. It's closer than anything we've had. It's a dry spot. <laughs> yeah. Probably probably cover this too. Uh oh, crap. Let's cover it all, cover it all. Well, it's a good thing we took a break and did town runs. <laughs> our warm board makes terrible roofing. Good thing we tarped all this stuff too. Our house plans that have been soaking wet. Looks like Alyssa got us a couple of root beers. I guess we won't be bringing our warm board plans up there because it's probably too stinking wet. But true. on a positive note, we have such a fantastic relationship with our impact driver that we picked up an impact driver tool. We already have four batteries. They're working fantastic. This is only like 120 bucks. 120, yeah, I think you can get them Which, off Amazon for 100 bucks. That's worth it because a day of our time is worth a lot. And this will, you know, I think more than anything, it reduces frustration. And I think that's one of the biggest problems with this is that yeah. there's so many things to be frustrated about. So I don't know how much you got of the drill not working, but it's maddening. It's maddening, yep. I think Alyssa is just sick and tired of hearing me whine and moan about the drill. And so she's like, please buy that tool. And I'm like, why are you being so gracious? No, not really. That's not Alyssa at all. She's got some pretty good common sense, this girl. I think later I might take the backpack blower and uh, shed our floor of all this water. So I don't think we really want it sitting up here too much. That's a pretty good pool right there. We're not gonna do an unboxing on this little guy because it's pretty self-explanatory, but I will we say- have, We've actually already done an unboxing on it. It's yeah. the same one. So we already did an unboxing on our drill impact driver combo. And I've actually just done bad things to our drill is all things you shouldn't do to a drill. So it's having, it's just dying. <laughs> it's got a stripped gear and all this other stuff. So. If you want to know more about this, we did an unboxing on it. What we might do in the near future is an update on a review and kind of share some of the thoughts that we have. I definitely have more to say about that drill 
than I have about these impacts, other than the Makita brushless impact drivers are pretty stinking solid tools. That much I will say. This is a single speed, and uh, I think I'm gonna use it. Sorry, love. Oh, You're gonna have okay. to use the crusty old that's impact. Fine. We should have a race at some point and see whose is faster. Okay. And we'll put equal batteries that one looks in. It looks a little different. It does look a little different, huh? Uh -oh. oh man. Yours is prettier. You know what? This is like smaller too. Mine's prettier? That oh, thing's yeah. been dropped off of how many ladders? Listening. That thing's been dropped off of how many ladders? <laughs> So this is our first boat panel where we're at the end of our 36 feet and it fits. Does it really fit? Snug as a bug. Wow, bug. this never happens. Hey, how did you pull the impact driver switcheroo on me? You tricked me! You said your battery was dead! Okay, hold on. It's time for a race. Okay, Ready? One, one, two, two, three. Holy cow. This one wins. You're so much faster. You wanna trade back? <laughs> no. Okay. We're almost to the beam. Hey, get back to work. What are you doing over there? I came to check the temperature. Uh-huh. I stuck my hands in. Oh. And my hands got stuck. Uh-oh. Like, I can't get them out. So what you're saying is we should go in there soon. I think we're I mean, great today. I should join you soon. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we should finish that row. What do you think? I think we should go as far as we can. Okay. We've got a good rhythm. Let's not ruin it. That's all you guys get. That's it. We're not done. We're just done filming. Like, we're kind of oveskies, you know? Well, it's, it's getting, getting dark late. Again. And we're going to keep working. So, we're going to get another load of panels up here. I know we're gonna work until dark. I don't know if we're working until after dark. I think today was a great day. We made great progress. I feel like we're not having anything out here hurting my knuckles. <laughs> I didn't even hit you that hard. Nothing's creeping out of alignment that we see. Everything's like behaving, so. End to end, we're square. And we're almost, and we're almost half done. So I'm not saying we're in the clear, but I think we're excited. I, I'm pretty we're positive. Half. We can finish this tomorrow. Oh yeah, we're over half. Yay. We had some huge ahas today. It just took us a while to get a system, but we finally got a system where basically we get one corner in and screw it in, and then you can pound the other corner into the groove. Take that screw out, pound it in, boom. All right, so, so we're gonna wrap this up for tonight, right? Yep, and we're probably gonna hot tub after. And then we're gonna hot tub, and then... And then back at it tomorrow. Mas caliente board manana. Yep. Did I say that right? Yeah. What are we at? We're at probably half a bucket. We're at about 12 pounds of screws, right? Half a bucket. Um, a lot. We're at a lot. <laughs> We're at a lot. Oh. Careful coming down. It's Whoa. slippery. 
If every time you take a little thing down with you, cleanup won't be so bad. That's it. Never go empty handed.